so today i will talk about concept of su3 group that is special unitary group of order 3 and its generator it's a very important concept so let me start with the su2 group so consider su2 doublet so i will start the concept with the su2 so let me consider the su2 doublet su2 doublet so it is given by that phi is equal to phi 1 and phi 2 and this doublet transform from phi 2 phi pre on the such that means when we operate phi with the unitary matrix phi unitary matrix operate over it gives us a phi prime right so i can write down it as the equal to phi prime and use the unitary operator and as I discussed in the earlier lecture so u is unitary operator and we can represent it like this means in some times that uh, u is written as exponential i sorry 1 by 2 minus 1 by 2 i sigma i theta right it can be represented sorry sigma theta sigma dot theta these two are the vector forms right not, dot is not there yeah it is like this or it can also be written in this form that exponential that u i is equals, equal to exponential minus 1 by 2 iota sigma i theta these are the different ways to represent it and where what is sigma i this is poly spin matrix this is poly spin matrix where i is 1 2 and 3 it has different values such that sigma 1 is equal to 0 1 1 0 sigma 2 is equal to 0 minus iota iota 0 and sigma 3 is equal to 1 0 0 minus 1 and this is the representation of also if I try to look at their determinant that seems to be 1 so that means uh, sigma uh, sorry this is representation of rotation of su2 group so in the similar fashion what we will do we will extend su2 doublet means let us now to introduce the concept of SU3, let us now extend the extend the SU2 doublet to triplet. So if we do it this, therefore that SU3 it can be defined as that phi 1, phi 2 and phi 3 such that such that this phi transforms to phi prime means when this phi operated with unitary matrix u it will give us the phi prime here what is u because I am talking about the special unitary matrices so that means and you may be more one it's one right? there are different possibilities so therefore you represent arbitrary unitary 
and unimodular means its magnitude will be 1 unimodular 3 by 3 matrix so therefore u is equal to exponential of s we have talked about in the case of poly matrices in the similar fashion we can define it means this u is equal to exponential minus 1 by 2 i theta n cap lambda this lambda is also like a vector or it can also be in the form of uh, their components so u shape it is exponential minus 1 by 2 i theta lambda j right so this is similar to polyspin matrix case because in that case what we have did we defined it as that u i is equal to exponential 1 by 2 i sigma i theta so similarly i have defined it here here 1 by 2 lambda j is known as generator it's known as generator and are analogous to and are analogous to poly matrices right and as poly matrices are 3 in number similarly this lambda i is means sigma i's are 3 and lambda i's are 8 so this is basically a formula if, if we are having a n by n order matrix then generators are defined as these generators are n square minus 1 means for this case it is 2 by 2 order matrix so it is 2 square minus 1 so it is 3 and for 3 by 3 order matrix it is 3 square minus 1 it is 8 for 4 by 4 order matrix it is 4 square minus 1 so they are 15 you can proceed it in this way yeah. right so that means these lambda i's are basically 3 by 3 for 3 by 3 matrix these are 8 in number right so lambda i's are 8 in number that is 2 raised to power 3 minus 1 is equal to 8 whereas for sun special unitary matrix of order n generators are r n square minus 1 this we have to keep in mind and these generators are introduced by gelman generators are introduced by and given by and are given as and are given as given as so first of all this is lambda 1 this is identical to spin matrix so it is 1 0 this is spin matrix let me write down lambda 2 lambda 2 is 0 minus iota iota 0 and lambda 3 is equal to this is 1 0 0 minus 1 but they are of 3 by 3 order so we will add two spin matrix poly matrices like this means this will become a 3 by 3 matrix right that means they can be written as sigma 1 they can be written as sigma 1 
0 0 0 because it is 2 by 2 order this is 2 by 2 order and similarly it can also be written as sigma 2 0 0 0 and it can also be written as sigma 3 0 0 0 right so they can be written like this and let me write down another matri uh, matrices means other generators so lambda 4 it, it can be written as it's also similar but one will be here and one will be here and rest will be this one it's also similar to this and again lambda 5 is also like this it is 0 0 but minus iota will be here and here iota will be here and rest will be this one now let me now write down lambda 7 lambda 7 is like this it is I'm just it's again this what they have the, these have to write down here so that means I will write down it as minus iota and iota 0 0 it is this way and rest will be like this it is lambda 7 and let me write down 6 lambda 6 is also like this 0 0 0 0 0 1 0 1 0 it's again similar to this one we what i am writing it here and what about lambda 8 lambda 8 can be written as 1 0 0 0 1 0 0 0 minus 2 and multiplied by 1 by root 3 so this is these are the values of this one so that means if i try to look at these then this is 0 right it's 0 it is 0 it is what it is sigma 2 and here it's also 0 0 0 sigma 1 right so these are the different ways to look at this so that you we, we can remember I'm not trying to uh, calculate that how these are coming out and another thing is that if I try to look at this this is a diagonal and this is also diagonal means lambda 3 and lambda 8 are the diagonal matrices are diagonal matrices right so these are the few things which we have to remember now let me talk about that, that what is fijk which i have defined uh, sorry uh, as we have learned in case of polyspin matrices that uh, for su2 that sigma i y2 comma sigma j y2 their commutator is equal to iota epsilon i j k sigma k y2 right where epsilon i j k is known as structure constant of group in the similar fashion we are having same poly matrices sorry same generator uh, sorry su3 generator satisfy commutation relation right so su3 generator satisfy following commutation relations that is 1 by 2 lambda i comma 1 by 2 lambda j their commutator is equal to i f i j k and 1 by 2 lambda k right and 
FIJK small FIJK they are anti symmetric anti symmetric under in change under interchange of under under interchange of under interchange of any two indices indices and their values are given as given as means f123 i'm not going to evaluating these values i'm just writing down and f 147 is equal to f246 is equal to f257 is equal to f245 is equal to f516 is equal to f637 is equal to 1 by 2 and f458 is equal to f678 is equal to root 3 by 2 so these are their values and let us now define let me mo uh, little bit more simplify this so for that let us define let us define that capital f i is equal to 1 by 2 lambda i so if i do it this way then what we are getting f i over uh, sorry commutator of f i and f j is equal to i f i j k fk and there are some non commuting operators there are some non commuting operators used to produce f i those are the standard results which i am using that i plus minus this corresponds to isospin so f1 plus minus iota f2 and i3 is equal to f3 and v plus minus is equal to v plus minus f4 plus minus i f5 and then u plus minus is equal to f6 plus minus iota f7 and last one is y y is means 2 by root 3 f of 8 so these are the few relations which we have to keep in mind and u plus minus and v plus minus these are called u spin and v spin so i will talk about these two things in the later on so that's all for this lecture so thanks for watching this video